Hi folks, Viv going live from York. Um, it's a bit of a crazy one. I know I say that most weeks actually, so maybe I should just keep going with that. Um, if you're watching new, put new below so I know, and if you're watching on replay, that would be great. Um, so I didn't, again, didn't tell you that I was going live, but I did tell you last week that I'm going to try and do eight o'clock every Thursday. So here I am. Um, it's going to be a very quick one because my dad's in hospital having blood tests because he had a bit of a funny turn this afternoon. So I'm going to head in with my mum. Hi, Ashley. But I wanted to share with you that I went to an amazing thing last night and I think everybody should be going um, on this if you get the chance. So I went, it was just really impromptu because my friend told me. But I went on this safe talk, suicide alertness for everyone. And I think if you get a chance to go on this training course, it's three and a half hours. It's totally worth it. Hi, Beth. Um, I can't stress enough how much I learned on the three and a half hours that I did that talk. And I thought I was pretty suicide savvy, actually. It's been something I've come across in my family and with friends. Um but I learned so much in the three and a half hours and I'm thinking of going and doing the next training for the next level up. This is just a really simple way of being able to talk about it, which is why I put trigger warnings. But I think suicide is a topic everyone should be able to talk about. Um, it, it, it's yeah, people should be able to talk about it and ask each other how they're doing and stuff like that without thinking oh if i mention suicide that that's going to put it in their mind people know about it and that's what i really liked about this um training hi gail um is that you know this is suicide alertness for everyone um so it's just for people to be more aware and i can't as i say i can't believe how much i learned um i'm going to put some um stuff up in the in the comments because we've got some really good info about stuff you can do in York but I know they're doing these training courses all over all over the country and I just would say go if you've got three and a half hours you can spare even if you don't have three and a half hours you can spare go because we need to be talking about it um so yeah I've had a crazy day today I went out for my um nephew's birthday um and came back feeling a bit ill so that was my other um safety warning thing because I had period pains so I went to sleep and I'm so glad I had to sleep because as I said I'm now heading in to sit with my dad whilst he's waiting for a blood test because he had a bit of a funny turn this afternoon and they just want to check it wasn't anything to do with his heart so um, I'm so glad I had a, uh, a rest this afternoon with the p word don't mention the p word we're not allowed to talk about that either but we should be able to say periods without people totally flipping out um so yes, I'm just about to head into hospital to sit with my mum and my dad whilst he's waiting to have his bloods done. I will be taking my essential oils because anytime you go in a hospital, take your protective blends because I don't want to be picking up any bugs. Um, the other nice thing um, about the um, training I went on last night, not that it's nice, was something I hadn't thought of. And it's again, it's just, oh, thanks, Daniel. I'm sure he'll be fine. It's just the paramedics were being super um, cautious. Yes. Um, so we're hoping he's going to have his blood test and then come straight out because they'll tell him he's fine. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, yes. So the training I did last night, um, obviously, it really affected me. And it I go on it with an open mind. If you're going to go to a talk where people are mentioning suicide and saying we need to talk about it openly. Um, again, I was so glad I had my essential oils with me because I did. I am an emotional being. I do tend to pick up on things, and it was really nice just to be able to, in those moments when I was thinking, oh yes, I know that's that happened to somebody that I was able to use my oils and stuff. Um, but yes, I can't remember what I was saying. This is what happens. Oh yeah, because I'd had a rest this afternoon, um, and I'd been feeling sick. But again, used the oils. Um, I was able to go and help my mum sit with my dad whilst the paramedics were there and actually I rushed home, had some tea. I am speaking to you lovely lot who've bothered to come on live so that's really lovely and I'm going to get my other oils that I need because I'm going to take some in for my dad in case they do keep him in and stuff and yes I will try and be more organised next week. I'm going to come up with something. I might do another memory thing or something but it depends if I remember. See what I did there. Um, so yeah, I'll probably post up in case anybody wants to know that my dad is okay when I find out that he is okay. Um, sorry it's been so rushed, but my mum is probably on her way to pick me up as we talk. But seriously, um, 
if you can get on this, I really would recommend. It's three and a half hours. It's amazing. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. The one thing I will tell you from the training um, is the power of words, because that is something I've spoken about before. I knew there was something. Um, and it was really interesting because you think that you think about how you say things like Sarah, who lives down the road, was the one who said, don't say, hey, guys, she doesn't like it. It's a generic term. I know that means everybody. But for some, it's a guy thing. You know, it means blokes. So, oh, thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. Um, but on the training about suicide, it was it was really interesting because people were obviously worried saying, but if you say to somebody, are you thinking of suicide? that gives them the idea and the, and the bloke who was doing the training was saying no everybody has thought of suicide to some degree at some point or know somebody who has um died that way or whatever so it's not going to put the idea in their brain if you if you say the word murder people don't want to go oh yeah i hadn't thought about that i'll go and kill someone and i know he was joking but you know it is that that power of the words but um something he mentioned which i thought was really interesting is not to say that people have committed suicide because that has the connotation from the i can't remember when he said sorry just checking that's not my mum um that um that it used to be a criminal offense to kill yourself and we've still got that stigma attached that if you phone up work and say oh i can't come in i've got flu they're like oh yeah fine but if you phoned up and said do you know what i'm just feeling really rough i need to have a bit of time out i just need to look after myself they'll be like oh well, that's a bit no we don't do that and actually we should feel that we can do that we should be able to do that and because mental health has still got this massive stigma around it we don't feel that we can do that and i think we should and what i really liked was him saying about the committing suicide because i probably would have still said that until last night until i went on that training I probably would have said the people I know who have died that way, they committed suicide. But just that shift of language, it's not a criminal offence. It's something that is really serious. And actually, most people, if not all people, don't want to do that. They're asking for help. And this is where this sort of thing and any training that comes after this can really help everybody feel that they can talk about it if they're feeling down. So seriously, guys, if you get a chance to do this training, it's free or it was in York, um, just go and do it. I'd, I'd get everybody on it because we need to be talking about this stuff. We need to be changing our language. We need to be looking after each other. And on that happy note, um, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got to go and get make sure I've got my oils so that I'm looking after my dad and my mum. And I will see you all next week because I will definitely be on live. Even if I don't say I'm coming on live, I will be on live because that's what I'm doing. And hope you all have a good evening. Take care, everyone. Bye.